Hi guys, it's Misty from the Book Rat, and forgive me for the weird light, but it's raining today. But I figured while I have the camera out, I'd go ahead and do a book haul. So this is a look at what came in my mailbox in April, and technically not all of April because I'm recording this about a week early, but it's just... It's too much, man. <laughs> There's too much. I don't want to let it keep piling up because I want to put things away, and I just want to get a little ahead of the game, so we're going to go ahead and look at it now. So I've got a nice little stack of packages, and I also have a number of ebooks to look at this month, and I'm going to get straight into it. What are you doing, buddy? I just love him. And you're probably going to hear crinkling because Kimba really, really likes these types of packages and wants to chew on them so badly. I see it in his little cat face. I see it. I do see it. Alrighty. Alright, I'm just gonna start pulling from the stack and the first one we have is Unraveled by Kate Jarvik Birch or Jarvik Birch. I'm not entirely sure. This one I think is part of a series and I haven't read the series. Hold on. Alright, this one came out April 3rd and it is the thrilling conclusion to a heart-pumping dystopian series. Perfected series. So I don't know if it's the third book, whatever it is, it's the last book, but I haven't read them. And the funny thing is, I think maybe some wires got crossed because... I somehow ended up with two of them, but I haven't read the series, so I have no idea when I'll be able to pick up any of the other books in the series and maybe get to this one, but there are two. I should mention all of the books will be linked in the description below so you can click on them and find out more about what they're all about. Since they're new to me, I haven't read them, I don't necessarily know, but apparently this is a heart-pumping dystopian series. That's that. Also from Entangled Teen is the next one in the pile, which is True Storm by Ellie Sterling. This is the third book in the True Born series, I think is what it's called. Yeah, the True Born trilogy. This is the last one. Um, I, again, have not read or hadn't read <laughs> anything from the series, but is one they thought I would like, and obviously it's coming out now, so they're promoting it, so they went ahead and sent it, but then they also sent me a digital copy of True Born, which is the first in the series. The goal was for me to do an excerpt and a first impressions to kind of go along with the release and promote that. So you will be seeing that, or have already seen that, because I don't remember when I have this haul scheduled to go up. Um, but what ended up happening was that that plan got changed a little bit once I started reading, and rather than sitting down to read the first 25 or 30 pages for first impressions, kind of read the whole thing. <laughs> so it's a review now. So I think that video is up by the time you're seeing this. I'm just getting oranger by the minute because of this light. I'm so sorry. I think that video is up by the time you're seeing this. Um, if not, it will be very soon and I will leave a link. But that's of this. But this is what just came out. But they both came in my mail this month. So there you go. While we're on an Entangled kick, they also sent me Spies, Lies, and Allies by Lisa Brown Roberts, which, again, I'm going to be doing an excerpt and a first impressions of, or maybe already have if it's linked, you know, you, you know. And we'll see if I manage. I haven't started this one yet, so we'll see if I manage to only read the little bit for a first impressions or if I end up getting sucked into this one and reading all of it too. I guess we'll see. But the cover is very cute. While I have the Kindle out, let's just go ahead and complete this little scenario. Um, who sent me this? Shoot. Oh, this is from St. Martin's, and I don't think it shows the cover. No, it doesn't show the cover, I just have like the copyright page. But it's for How I Resist, which is an anthology by a ton of people. Let's see. Edited by Tim Federley and Maureen Johnson, and it includes... Uh, stories, or not really stories, but um, some of them maybe, I don't know, but just sort of thoughts on resistance and getting political from people like Jennifer Weiner, Maya Rupert, Melinda Lowe, Lauren Duca, 
um, Jason Reynolds, Rosie O'Donnell, Jacqueline Woodson, Libba Bray, Jodie Pico, Dana Schwartz, Jeffrey Rowland, all kinds, Sabah Tahir, uh, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, just tons and tons of people talking about resistance and about getting political and about using your voice in an anthology aimed for teens, and I think that is really cool. So this one was from St. Martin's. I don't recall when it's coming out, um, and I don't think that it said in the email. It's probably out either very soon or now by the time you're seeing this, but I will be taking a look at it very soon and giving my thoughts. Um, maybe not on the whole thing, I might just be kind of sampling some of the different um, pieces in it, but yeah, I'm curious to see what all it has to offer. Back into, I think that was everything digital. Back into the physical books, I have The Queen Underneath by Stacey Filak. This is from Page Street Publishing, which I believe is a new publisher, and I don't remember what video it was in that this showed up. I think it might have been in the most recent lunch chat slash book chat on reader routines, but this showed up while I was recording, and I reacted in it, because I don't know how this made its way to me. Uh, I wasn't ever contacted about it, and I don't think it came with a sheet, but if it did, it was just like a basic, yes it did I think, but it was, it didn't like have any kind of introductory note or anything, it was just like the standard like this is the book, this is when it comes out type of thing. And I don't know who at Page Street has my info, <laughs> but somehow this book made its way to me and I was just like, what? What? But that's, a, I was, I was really confused and like a little bewildered honestly. Um, but that said, it is by a Michigan author. It is a very bold sort of retelling of Sleeping Beauty, but with a lot of twists, and it is... I, I had a lot of things to say. I just recorded the review for it. It will be going up very soon by the time you're seeing this. I know it won't be up yet, but very, very soon, and this will be out very soon. Uh, this comes out on the 8th. I think I have the review going up on the 7th or something like that. Keep an eye out for that, basically, because it was just... it is one hell of a review. I have so many things to say, but new book, new author, new publisher. And I'm curious to see what else they have coming from them, but on to the next. This one was, I think, a random... yeah, this one's a unsolicited copy from Scholastic of Give Me Some Truth by Eric Gansworth. God, everything is so shiny. I'm sorry, guys. Th there you go. You can kind of see it. <laughs> Give Me Some Truth by Eric Gansworth. This one comes out May 29th, so towards the end of this month, and it is described as sometimes hilarious, sometimes heartbreaking, always heartfelt. It is um, contemporary, and is a follow-up sort of companion novel, I guess, to If I Ever Get Out of Here, which I haven't read. But this does sound interesting. As far as I can tell, it's an own voices story. Um, it seems to me. Yeah, the main character, Carson, lives on a reservation and is in a rock band, and Eric Gansworth is grew up on a reservation as part of the Tuscarora Indian Nation outside of Niagara Falls. So it is own voices if you're trying to um, work more of those into your reading. It sounds interesting if you like contemporary, but I don't know too much about it or too much about Eric or that first book. As I said, I haven't read it. And Kirkus apparently said that it is a classic teen novel, especially for Native youth and Beatles fans. So, I mean, you can tell from the cover it's going to be pretty music heavy. So if that is your thing, something to look into. And then the last, well, no, not the last, but uh, the last new physical book that you haven't seen from me yet came from Permuted Press, and it is The Initiation by Chris Babu, I think is maybe how you say it. Um, it is post-apocalyptic, set in New York, in Manhattan, in the Society of New America after everything has fallen apart. This one, I think, is out. I don't know, it doesn't say the date, but I'm pretty sure that it's out now. And it's in society, everyone's supposedly equal, but they live very segregated, and the main character, Drayden, is going to endure a test called the Initiation, where he's going to face harrowing challenges of intelligence and bravery, with the price of failure being death. So it's one of those, and I'm going to give it a test this month and see um, what I think, and if it's one that I want to dig into. That is pretty much all for the physical books, as far as this video is concerned, but technically this month. All of these came and then three more, but the other three are not 
here with me right now and I'm not getting up. So a whole big bunch of comics from First Second that had their own dedicated unboxing. So I will leave a link to that and to the kind of posts that went up around it. I have already read and reviewed them and uh, will share all of my thoughts on these vibrant, colorful, very fun graphic novels for kids from First Second. So if you want to see a big ol' haul. In addition to this one, all of it came within April, but this just had its own thing. And I believe that is all, but let me make sure, because the good thing about keeping up with my bullet journal this month, year, is that I actually know whether I've missed something. No, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. So that is a big old stack of books, and that's not all of them. As I said, some of them are downstairs. It's a lot of stuff to add to the shelves this month. The craziest thing is I've actually read the majority of them, which is such a rarity for me. So I'm getting ready to pick out my May TBR right now, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to read, because normally I pull from the stack of books back here that are like things that have recently come, and I've pretty much worked my way through all of them. They're still back here because I haven't put them on the shelves, but I'm pretty much done. So who even am I? <laughs> but that is all for this haul. As I said, everything will be listed and linked in the description so you can find out more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Which of these stand out the most to you and are you the most curious about or eager to read? If you have read them, I'd love to know your thoughts. And I'd also love to know what you added to your shelves in April. But that is all for now. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, happy reading! Oh, 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 I'm missing one. Why? Why? Hey, what are you doing? Move it or lose it!